Well, late today, the Obama camp released a statement on the flap slamming not those who released the tape, but Fox News, saying, quote, this is a fake news controversy drummed up by the all too common alliance of Fox News, the Drudge Report and John McCain, who apparently decided to close out his campaign with the same false, desperate attacks that have failed for months. Bill Burton is the man who released that statement and he's with us now in Chicago. Hi, Bill. Hi, Megan. Hope you had a nice weekend. I did. Thank you. Uh, although I'll tell you what, I come back here on Monday and there you are again slamming Fox News Channel. You could so blame funny. the people who <laughs> released the tape. You could blame the folks who posted the tape. You could blame your candidate for making the statements. Instead, you've chosen to blame us. Well, you know, it's so funny because I thought when I saw on Fox News this morning that you guys were promoting uh, you know, this interview and saying that McCain was going to attack, but McCain actually had not attacked. And even though the Chiron on the screen said, in fact, McCain was attacking us on this, he wasn't. I thought, you know what, there goes Fox News again, just doing the same thing that they've been doing this entire election. And then you felt bad when you saw that McCain did, in fact, reference it and uh, that it did hit uh, several Internet sources and TV sources. And you realized, indeed, this is not a fake news controversy. Many Americans actually do care very much uh, about the question of whether Barack Obama has socialist like uh, policies. I, I wouldn't say that I felt bad because this was indeed an, an issue that has been driven by the Fox News Channel. And, you know, look, I think that you played the video, you played the audio of that interview, which obviously I appreciate because it points out that the what John McCain was trying to say about it, I think, is is by any fair reading, just not accurate. You know what, Bill? It seems that when I have you on and we talk about tough issues, issues that may be potentially tough for your candidate, this is what you do. You blame Fox. You come out with a, the best defense is a good offense and start ripping on us. You should know that, okay. in, that in the polls, as recently as this month, one taken by Rasmussen, the majority of Americans think that Fox is the least biased network out there. MSNBC was first, CNN was second, th Fox was last in terms of bias. Your guy is believed to be getting help by 70% of the press corps, according to the latest Pew, <laughs> Pew poll. But you complain when Fox has the nerve to confront your candidate with his own words. No, I think that what my complaint is and what um, I think any fair viewing of uh, your channel would be is that you know, we spend a lot of time out on the campaign trail talking about the issues that are important to the American people. We talk about the economy and foreign policy, the key differences with John McCain. And, you know, on Wednesday night, we're actually going to have uh, a half an hour uh, that folks can, can watch. It'll be about Don't Barack Obama. Don't slip into the and infomercial, quite, Bill. At, Stay on it, point. No, right. And it costs quite a bit of money. But it's something that uh, John McCain gets for free every single day from Fox News Channel as you continually... Uh, trump up these fake controversies and, you know, have folks on to talk I about see. things Fox that don't News have anything gives, to do okay. with Just the so issues you know, that are Bill, important to the, the American The Center for Media people. and Public Affairs found that since the conventions, the, po the coverage of John McCain has been 65% positive on the network news channels for Barack Obama. Guess how much has been positive for John McCain on the network news? 36. I sure, 36. I did see that study. And Rasmus I think that John McCain that pays a price the least for... Balance, Bill. Listen, sure. here's the bottom no, 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 line. I, I think the I viewers... Point, let, let me finish my point. The people who watch Fox News like our coverage, as you know, those are the people who are watching you right now, more than a million people for that matter. They think this coverage is fair and balanced. You may not like it, Bill, but answer the substantive question. Because a lot of viewers have sure. concerns about whether Barack Obama, his comments in 2001, his comments to Joe the Plumber, and his past comments about economic justice, should give them pause, should give them cause okay, for concern Megan. because right. they worry about redistribution I appreciate the political speech wealth. that you're making here that is obviously well, you to attack, help Fox News I'll Channel defend. and to help uh, John McCain. But look, you know, the bottom line is that the American people know Barack Obama has been crystal clear about his economic plans in this country. And if getting a tax cut to 95% of Americans is uh, socialist, I just don't think that the American people agree with that. And so this notion that somehow... Fox News has been fair on these points. It just does not hold up to, to the reality of the sort of coverage that it's been getting. And I think that this morning, and the reason I put out that statement, is because it is rarely so crystal clear when Fox News in and of itself is driving its own specific agenda, helping John McCain, frankly, more than John McCain I'm sorry, sometimes Bill, helps but both himself. Your candidate and, and John McCain seem to think that Joe the Plumber and his exchange with Barack Obama was relevant and newsworthy, and that was about spreading the wealth around. Right, These and comments I think that's from a 2001 that, that, that also that you raised the issue on this of channel, redistribution of wealth. To, that is think, you can try to talk over that me, John McCain, but, I, but I'm no, not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. I was making a point here. No, I was making my point. 
point, <laughs> Bill. And we have a very specific me. economic quiet, policies quiet, that we think will help respond. the middle class as opposed Bill, to John McCain who down, wants to help let others. Let me make my point, Megan, then you can make go yours. Ahead. You've, you've, you've okay? made your political speeches. If, make another one. Listen, go to town. I, as you know, I don't appreciate the sarcasm. You I can know, save you that it. for your friends over on the other channels. We don't put up with that here. What I'm saying is that your candidate has made several comments about redistributing the wealth. I get the emails, Bill. I get emails from Republicans, Democrats, and independents alike who are concerned about that notion, who understand that right now in this country, the top 25% already pay 67% of the income taxes, and they're worried about shifting that balance even more. Go ahead. Okay, okay Megan. Uh, we have tried these policies for the last eight years where you give tax cuts to the corporations, you give tax cuts to the wealthiest Americans. It's not working. That wealth is not trickling down. What we think we need to do is help to uh, help the middle class, get a tax cut to the hardworking men and women of this country so they can help to deal with higher energy prices, higher health care costs, the fact that people are worried about losing their homes in this uh, mortgage mess. And that's what Barack Obama is focused on. And I don't think that the fact that John McCain has made similar comments about the fact that he couldn't, he couldn't stomach George Bush's tax cuts in 2001. Nobody is accusing him of being socialist then because he said that there was an unfair right. amount of benefit given to the wealthy. Nobody said that he was socialist. I don't hear you talking about that. But Barack Obama, in, a, in an interview seven years ago, when he's making a point that has nothing to do with the one that you're making, I think all of a sudden becomes banner news on the Fox News channel. And you know what? I understand. You've got an agenda here. We just think that we the don't American have an people agenda. ought to know Our agenda that is we to very report specifically the news fair and have a plan to help the I understand you don't like it, and sometimes economy. your candidate has complained okay, about ahead. it, but that's what we're going to do. Like you may have the rest of the media me. in that's the tank, fine, but Fox News reports it straight, fair and balanced, as always. Bill Burton, thanks so much for being here. All right, Megan. In a moment, fair and balanced.